My name is Kevin Kobach. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. We're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. I'm Dwayne Kessinger. I'm Nicole's father. And Nicole, can you just introduce yourself for the recording? Nicole Kessinger. like stuck in in one room together I was like but they'll become like best buddies and it was really exciting like I liked helping him and I just wanted him to like I don't know this is what he told me he wanted but another thing that I really took care of was to be like where is she moving to I was never like you know what screw your wife try to get a full custody none of that bullshit it was always just like you know I'd ask him I'm like well what kind of custody are you guys gonna have and they're about to switch these guys to eight days on, six days off. Mm, that's tough. That's awesome. And I and I was so I was tell, I was asking them. I was like, Are you gonna have your kids like on that set of days off? I was like, Because that would work perfect. Like one week on, one week off. And I was just like, You know, just talk about it. And I'm like, What is your plan? And he's like, We haven't figured out exactly what we're gonna do about the kids yet. But he told me he's like, Colorado's a fifty fifty state, and she's okay with everything. Fifty. Did you ever give him like? books or articles or anything to read about saving your marriage did you ever provide anything to him like that about saving his marriage yeah like how to recover a marriage or how to save your marriage you know there's there's all sorts of publications and no, books out but i would tell i told him a few times like i think that you should take the time to read some articles uh about um what separation does to kids you know and i told him i said when my parents separated we were literally like three and five. We were almost the exact same age as these little girls. And I told him, I said, you know, I was so young when it happened that it didn't really have like a big negative effect. I was like, but I do have cousins that their parents got divorced when they were like 10, 11. And I think that it hit them a little harder. And I told him, I was like, even though they're small and you think that they'll be fine, I was like, I think you guys should just read about it just so that you guys are prepared in case, you know, one of these two starts having a hard time with the fact that you guys aren't in the same house anymore. You know, it's kind of cool having two Christmases, and, you know, like, your parents get to go, you know, be happy doing whatever it is they want to do with their time. It was like, just read. Like, that's what I always used to tell them. I'd always tell them, like, I, I tell people to read about everything. Reading is so good for them. And it was like, we're filing for divorce, we're selling the house. And this was, like, all as soon as they were coming back from North Carolina, like, boom, 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 boom. Did you recall when he gets back from North Carolina? No, I don't even know how long he was out there. I know it was like less than two weeks and more than one. He comes back early August. Would that be fair? Oh, yeah. It was definitely like in the first two weeks somewhere. And so I took the time, and you will see that in the text, too, where I like, like, there, like I found this apartment. It was perfect. It was so cute. I was like, it's in your price range. It's like six miles from the gym. It's 23 miles from work. I'm like, you know, it's super close to Frederick. It's going to be by your kid's school, like, this is this is the spot. He's like, well, there's some that I want to go see, too. And he actually had me thinking that he was going to go look at these places this week. Before all okay, this. So sh- this is fairly recent. Oh, this just about. happened. Like, in the last He's going to go weeks. look at apartments. He wanted me to go Darren, with him. We said earlier that he had never, um, or that the, the apartment wasn't for you and him. It was just for him and his children. Oh, yes. It was You weren't you had no intentions of moving I, in with him? No, I I really try to take everything with this whole situation very slow. It's like, Chris, like, you need space. Like, you're just getting out of a divorce. Like, personally, I think jumping into a new relationship is a little quick. I'm like, so why don't we take our time? And I'm like, if you guys end up doing a week on, a week off with your kids, I'm like, the week you have your kids, be with your children. And the week that you don't, I'm like, I don't even want to see you every day. I think you need your space. I think you need your space to, like, develop your identity again and, like, get it. Sure. And so I was just like, you know, like, embrace that. I think it's a beautiful thing. Or, uh, you know, I'd be like, hey, if I ever meet, you know, because, like, I have a lot of house plants. That's a good example. So I have a lot of house plants, and I told, I told them, I was like, one day, if I ever meet your kids, I was like, I'm going to show these girls how to, like, paint pottery and plants plants. I was like, I think they would love to see something grow that they built. I think it would be really, really cute. And, like, little stuff like that, but it wasn't very frequent. It wasn't, hey, we should get married, and hey, we should have babies, and hey, I want to live with you, and hey, I need to meet your children now, and let's cut the mom out. It was never like... There was never any conversation about, you know, we can't do this with her around, we can't do this with the kids around. He never said that, you never said that. No. No. So there, the the way you guys were trying to make this work was just 
you know, slowly trying to come together because of his current situation and you, by your own account, your own... My, no, I mean, he told me, like, he had a budget restriction. So for his apartment, and I'm pretty sure this is in the text, and this will probably be in the last couple of weeks, um, he told me 1100 to 1400 when I was asking him. Like, because I told him I'd help him do homework. I was like, you do small work, I'll do small work. And I remember asking him, I was like, you sure you don't want to just get, like, a house? And he's like, I never thought about a house. I'm like, yeah, you can rent houses, man. Like, it's a thing. And he's just like, I don't know if I can afford it. And I was like, okay. And I knew that those two had been through some financial trouble. I definitely found out a lot more about that situation in the newspaper recently. Um, okay, so prior to the newspaper, how did you know he was in financial difficulty? Because he, I mean, I, when I went to that house, everything in there is very, 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 very nice. It looks like it all comes with a very expensive price tag. And uh, I didn't say anything to him about it, but I could kind of tell then where I was like just looking at everything like, how do you guys afford this? And then he has that car. This, I don't even know how much that car costs. But what I bet car, it's what car is that it? Lexus. I'm sure that thing costs like 80 grand, but just like money. Like everything just looked like it costs a lot of money in that house. You probably have a decent idea of how much money he makes. Yeah, and it's not enough money to pay for not um, even close. Did you have any idea what um, Shanann did for a living or how much money she might have made? I mean, I had an idea. I don't, I mean, I would consider her like a sales rep. I don't know how else to describe that. And, uh, I don't know exactly how much she made. He said that she was really competitive and she liked to try to keep up with him. He's like, she gets close sometimes. So I don't know how much those two brought in. I mean, off the top of my head, if I could guess, probably somewhere around like 140 k a year. Even if they're making, let's just use the figure, $100,000, they're living above their means or below oh, their means? Oh, my God. Like, way too much? Way, 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 Did way too much. Did he ever discuss much. with you any of those issues? I mean, a little. I think he was really frustrated with the situation. Um, he told me, he's like, you know, I feel like my paycheck goes in my bank account. And I just wait. And she, from the vibe that I got, had really bad. So she was a spender. Um the car hers or his? I think it's hers. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that's hers. Do you know what other car they might have? Well, I mean, his APC pickup truck. Um, and it's a very expensive Lexus. Um, and then they live in a pretty expensive house. It's I, a huge house. Yeah, I was uh, very taken back when I saw it. I was just like, <laughs> how do you the guys... And fixtures inside caused you to pause. Everything. Everything was just like... And then you mentioned today you read something about uh, bankruptcy. Yep. What did you read? That those guys filed bankruptcy for a lot of money in... Who were those guys? Do that. Okay. In 2015. Oh, Shanann and Chris Thanks. filed bankruptcy <laughs> in 2015. Said for a lot of money. Do you recall the amount? No, because it was different in each of the newspapers, and I don't know which one. He's frustrated with the way she spends, or he's upset with working so hard and never having any money, and she's kind of the responsibility she's the responsible party for spending most of the money i i pretty much got that by and i asked him i was like do you have 401k and he was like yeah and i mean the reason i ask him this is because if i get in a relationship with somebody i want to know like what kind of baggage that they have i think that's important <laughs> if i walk into a situation where i'm like hey i have good credit and i have all these things that i've been building and you don't have your stuff together, like, what are we going to do? And it's important for your, your long-term thing. So I'm preparing. <laughs> and so I just asked him, I was like, well, do you have 401k? And he was like, he's like, yeah, I do have that. And then I asked him, I was like, um, I, I didn't ask him, like, how much debt they had or anything, but I just said, is your lifestyle sustainable? And he was like, no. And I was like, how long do you think that's going to take? He's like, I don't know, but it's not sustainable. Where did his girls go to school? I don't know. He never actually told me. Like, when I gave him, I asked him once. It was like when I was trying to find him an apartment. I was like, are you comfortable telling me where your girls go to school? That's in the text, too. I was like, so I can figure out what distance from the apartment is. I was trying to just make his life convenient with, like, him, his ex, his kids. Daycare is obviously very expensive for a two, and three and five-year-old. Right. Like the only, like I said, the only financial thing he ever said is just like, she just like just, it was a lifestyle that she liked to live, like very, like materialistic kind of lifestyle. Wanted like to project it was, a certain image. Yes, all the time. I told him, I said, when you're in those situations, why don't you 
I'm like, do you, do you like voice your concern about this? And he told me, he's like, when I try to talk to her, he's like, she's really bossy and she usually shuts me out. And he's like, when she does that, he's like, I just let it go. And I was just like, all right. I mean, I don't, I don't try to like interfere with how those two interact. But I did ask about it because I'm just curious because I would never put myself in a situation where someone was like, you know what, we're going to live in this house that costs like double what we can afford and that's how it's going to be because I want everybody to think we're fancy because I wouldn't do that. I mean, to me, like I wouldn't put up with somebody doing that to me and I'm not saying that that's what she was. I mean, for all I know, he could have been completely lying about this. He could be the one spending all the money. Sure. You know, This is just what he told you. Exactly. And I think the only reason that he even provided me with that information is because I asked. Okay. You said something um, about her being controlling or... Bossy. Bossy. That's what he said. Um, I think he was just saying when he voices his opinion, it's not her. And he said he'd addressed it with her a few times, and he said it just fell on deaf ears. He's like, she just seems like she's not interested anymore. And I think it made him sad because... I mean, he was, like, all about his kids, and he seemed like he was trying to be all about her, but it just wasn't reciprocated. It's just, they just kind of, like, fell apart. Okay. Just kind of drifted apart. That but it was, was that your words or his? What? The thing? Fell apart. That, uh, those are mine. Did, 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 was there ever mention that he was trying to resolve or uh, save his marriage to for the children's sake? You know, a lot of people talk yes. about that. Did he yes. talk about that? I mean, he told me that he believed that the only reason that those two had still been doing it as long as they've been doing it, he told me that her and him have had communication issues for about six years where she just seems really, like, detached. And he said, um, sometimes I think we just do it for the kids or something like that. I mean, it's been a long time since I had sure. some of these conversations. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when he told me that she was cool with, like, the 50% everything and just, like, breaking it off and being really civil about it, it, it kind of made sense to me because I was like, the way he made this sound, it wasn't, oh, she's this horrible person or, oh, I'm this horrible person. It was her and I have drifted so far apart that it's kind of a mutual agreement that this is not going to work. So in those six years, though, they had two children. Yep. Um, and you said earlier you did not know she was pregnant until reading the newspaper. Yep. So um, that never came up in any conversation uh, on that. Yes. Okay. I think, I know why he lied to me. He lied to me because if I'd have known that he had a child on the way, I'd have never wasted my time with him in the first place. Like, none of this would ever even occur if he would have just told me the truth. So do you think if he found out that you, um, if... Let's say this week you guys were to go look at some apartments, and this is hypothetical, but you, um, you've you never found out that his wife was pregnant. Would, would that have changed anything, uh, like you just said? If I knew he was his wife was pregnant, I wouldn't be in this picture. So if his wife was not pregnant, um, and forgive me, but if, if, if he takes her out of the picture, you're never going to know that she was pregnant, right? What do you mean, takes her out of the picture? Like, if he murdered her, she's out of the picture. You're never going to know if she was pregnant. If he can get away with murder, you're not going to... I got divorced from my wife. You see, do you understand what I'm saying here? If, if she's gone... But this... Don't lead. Hypothetically. Please. Don't hypothetically. Lead if she... Okay. You understand where I'm going. If right, you but didn't you're, know, you're leading into right. questions that are nothing with your... If you didn't know, though... Wait, Nick. That she was there. Did you hear what I said? I'm not... I'm following you. I just want her to answer a question that relates to... She said something that's... But he killed his kids. At what point does he think that I'm going to be not, in a relationship? I'm not talking about the children. I'm just talking specifically about her. Do you understand what I'm thinking from his aspect? Well, because it wouldn't have made sense to me that he's like, I'm getting separated. Oh, by the way, I have a baby on the way. It's like, it's you are a liar. You're just trying to sleep with me. That's what I would have probably interpreted that as, and I'd have just shut that off at work, and that would have been the end of it.